Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about some healthy snacks that you can purchase from the grocery store. They're very healthy, nutritious, convenient, and mostly inexpensive. If you would like to know which snacks that I'm eating and which snacks I'm purchasing from the grocery store, then just keep watching. <laughs> All right, so first things first, it's really important to remember that fresh produce can be taken as a healthy snack. So having a fruit bowl on your table or just having some fresh fruit maybe in a lunch bag, something like that, is gonna make it convenient for you to get some good nutrition in. Some produce that I like to keep with me are these fluids. It's a mix between an apricot and a plum. So it's a hybrid. The way that I would describe it is it tastes just like a peach except for the texture is really smooth. So it's not that, you know, kind of like hairy <laughs> texture to it. They're very sweet. These would be a great snack to have. The next one, can't forget about our pears. So this is a Bosque pear. There's a variety of pears available at the grocery store. These ones I really like the best. If you haven't tried a pear, definitely pick one up. They're on sale right now for 99 cents, so try them. They're good, easy, healthy snacks. Okay, so the next produce item that I use as a healthy snack are these mini bananas. So these are really, really, really green right now. But they're not ready to eat, but I did have some other bananas, but they were pretty much black. I know, it sounds kind of gross, but that's the way that I like them. They're really sweet that way. They're basically the perfect portion size. Right, so the next items that I have are my absolute favorite. They are so convenient for snacks. And if you're trying to eat healthier, these are gonna help you so much. They're already prepackaged and ready to go. So they're these little veggie trays, except this one right here is my absolute favorite. It definitely has a variety of different food groups. So we have our vegetables here, we have the carrots, we have our apples. There's a cheese stick in here. I love cheese. <laughs> and then you also back here have a little package of almonds. So this is seriously my favorite. Hands down. I love it. I, I look forward to lunch because of these. So that's one option. These are found at Kroger. I think that they do have some at Giant Eagle. I haven't checked Meyer, but Kroger definitely has four varieties of them. So there's this one too. This one has apples, carrots, and snap peas. This one has more fruit in it. So we have grapes, carrots, and apples. Lastly, they have this one right here. So this has pretzels in it, celery, carrots. All of them have carrots. <laughs> there's a trend. And then this one has some ranch dressing. So I tend to um, dip these in the ranch. I don't use all of the ranch, but oh, and I forgot tomatoes, tomatoes in here. Those are only $2, okay? They're $1.99. I mean, sometimes these protein bars and granola bars, they're $2 a piece. So you can get a really nutritious snack right here. You can get this for $2. I mean, you seriously can't beat that and they're already pre-packed. What's better? I mean, someone please tell me what's better than that. <laughs> I eat a variety of Greek yogurt, so I eat the Light and Fit Vanilla, the Kroger Fruit on the Bottom, Pineapple Mango is my favorite, and then the Siggies. So there is a reason why I eat different yogurts. My calorie intake is different every single day, so I'm not eating the same foods every single day. Some days I eat more fruit, and it has more sugar. Sometimes I don't eat as much fruit. So these vary a lot in um, the carbohydrates in them. For instance, this one right here, the pineapple mango, has more sugar than these. So if I you know, wasn't eating a lot of sugar in the day, then I would choose this. I mean, that's just me. I, you know, am studying to be a dietitian, so that's just me and wanting to be balanced. But that's kind of like where I come in and I have different uh, Greek yogurts to choose from. 
So the light and fit is really low in calories. Um, it has low sugar, a little bit higher protein. So on the days that you know I'm eating more sugar, I'd go for this. And then the Siggy's is kind of like in the medium and it's pretty good. And there's not very many ingredients in it, which I like. So I choose this at times. This is good for breakfast too. I would definitely eat something else for breakfast as well, but good snacks in the middle of the day to have the protein to really fill you up. Another thing about this pineapple mango Greek yogurt that I really like is it has more calcium as compared to these two. So it does have more sugar, but it's also because of the fruit that's in it. So it has pineapple mango in it. It does, however, have a little bit of added sugar. But personally, I think that this one is better because it's better to have the real fruit, more calcium, and a little bit of added sugar than it is for not to have those components in the Greek yogurt. So, but you know, like I said, I eat all of these. I think that it's important to get a balanced diet in. So you do you. All right, another one I use are these Cow Pal Snack Cheese. So I get these from Kroger. You can really get them anywhere from any brand. They just come in these little for packages. Some people try to stay away from cheese. That's personal preference if you wanted to do that. I think that cheese is perfectly fine. It's a good calcium source. That's what I personally believe. So the next snack that I tend to eat from are the dry roasted edamame. Oh, I love these. They're so good. <laughs> so these are easy to take with you. You can put them in your purse. Requires no refrigeration like some of the other snacks I've provided. They have 14 grams of protein per serving. So that's pretty high. Seven grams of fiber. Ooh, these are great. Heart healthy as it says and um, very convenient. Next, I have some bars protein bars, granola bars. So I have a couple different ones. So I really like the kind bars. There's a lot of different flavors. Uh, these are really nutritious. They got some good fats in them. They're sweet and salty. So I love that in a snack. So there's a few different kinds. There's the dark chocolate and sea salt. There's the dark chocolate cinnamon pecan. And then there's the caramel almond and sea salt. So Kind also has these strong bars. So these have a little bit more protein in them and they're a little bit different of a flavor. So I think they have some like spicy ones out there, but this one that I like the most is the honey mustard. So it's a different flavor, a different type of snack. Definitely something I recommend if you really like honey mustard. When I first saw these, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about honey mustard, but really good, something I recommend. And a good filling snack. So a little bit more calories than the others, but very filling if you're feeling hungry. And then lastly, I have these Cliff Bars. And let me just tell you, I'm obsessed. Okay, I love Cliff Bars. I'm sure you've heard of them. There's a zillion flavors out there. But lately, I've been eating the nuts and seeds one. It's their new flavor, and I just, I love it. These do have a lot of sugar in them. They do have about 10 grams of protein, so that's good. But they do have a lot of sugar, so I tend to use these before or after I work out so that I'm really using that sugar. But, you know, I've eaten them for breakfast before. They're delicious. I also like the peanut toffee flavor. Tastes like candy. So yeah, those are some good snacks to keep with you. So, all right, so that concludes my healthy snacks. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that I showed you a snack that you would really like. If you have any snack ideas that I missed or that you think that I should know about, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are eating for healthy snacks. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video soon. Bye! <laughs>